Hey, 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 it's your Wonder Woman baker chick, Ellen, with you today. Uh, yesterday I was all dressed up because I had gone out for lunch and I was dressed in nicer clothes. Today it's after a workout. <laughs> so not quite as put together, but I did put my makeup on for you. All right, so today I'm going to make cinnamon rolls. Listen to my word again. Earlier in my YouTube channel history, I did do cinnamon rolls, but I was a newbie. I didn't really have a firm grasp on how to put my videos together. And I still don't do a lot. If you notice, I don't really edit anything. Um, but my cinnamon rolls are previously a part one, part two, part three, three videos. And that is just a little inconvenient. So I decided that I should do a new and improved cinnamon roll video and that's what I'm going to do today. So if you've made my cinnamon rolls before, I'm just going to use my master butter dough recipe, although I'm planning on using a little bit more butter just to see how that goes. I don't think it'll hurt anything. I've doubled the fat in dozens of recipes and they've just made it better. So anyway, I'm going to use milk, but in my case, if you know my habits, my baking habits, I don't have milk in the house. I have half and half. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, it has milk, egg, bread flour, sugar, salt, butter, yeast, egg wash eventually, but then of course I'll need more butter plus, I have a pear or something, more butter plus the cinnamon and sugar. I'm not going to bake it in a tray. I'm gonna do something cute. <laughs> so I know someone who has a slogan on her Facebook page and it's keep it cute always. So Tara, this one's for you. Keep it cute always. So today I'm gonna to do something cute with my cinnamon rolls. And um, after we turn off the camera, I'm just going to weigh out my ingredients, put them in the bread machine, set it for dough, set my timer on my Apple Watch for 28 minutes. My kitchen always seems to take 23 minutes of rest on my Zojirushi Zoj Virtuoso Plus. 23 minutes of rest. And then after five minutes of kneading, so 23 plus five is 28. That's what I set my timer for, 28 minutes. So after 28 minutes, I check my dough to make sure it's not too wet or too dry. And you know, I always show you what that looks like. So again, I'm just gonna turn the camera off. I'm gonna weigh all these ingredients, take my bread pan over to the bread maker that's over there, put it in, set it for dough, set my alarm, and I'll show you what's next. All right, my machine is rested and it's been kneading for five minutes. Now it's time to check the dough to make sure it is not too wet or too dry. <laughs> Look at that. It is perfection. It is tacky, but not sticky. There's no dough pooling around the paddles. It is not look like craggy. I mean, there's one little piece of dough, but that's okay. So it is perfect. I'm going to let it go. We're now on rise. It's just starting. It's risen about a third, I think. We're back. The dough isn't quite ready. It has about 25 minutes to go, but I'm gonna show you what I do to get ready because you know, cinnamon rolls require rolling out. So at least an hour ago, I took out one brick of Kerrygold salted butter, which is basically two sticks of butter. And it's been softening this whole time and every once in a while I mess with it, but I may, 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 maybe have to dig stick it in the microwave for like 10 seconds or something. I don't want it melty. Here is cinnamon sugar that I'm about to mix up. Once someone asked me, well, what is the ratio of sugar to cinnamon? And that is to your taste. There's no, I don't ever measure that, but you can see that that's about what I've put in and I will be stirring that to mix it. In here, I just have flour to sprinkle on my counter when I'm rolling out the dough. Here's my rolling pin. Here is my bench scraper that I will be using for several things. And remember when I said we were gonna do something cute? I have these mini pie plates. They are six inch, six inch pie plates. And they nicely fit one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, depending on how much you want to put in there. 
little cinnamon rolls. And if you're maybe having a breakfast or a brunch, you could put one in front of every two people, or you could put it for one person if they want to eat a lot of cinnamon rolls. You could make one big cinnamon roll and bake it right in the middle. I always do mini ones. But I'm not going to, so instead of putting it you know, in, a, in a rectangular tray, which is pretty standard, I'm just going to fill these cuties up. And I'm not sure how many it'll take. I've sprayed four of these with this canola oil spray. So I'm ready as far as that goes. So I have, again, my flour. I've got to mix this up. My butter is softening. And then when the dough is ready, we'll come back and I'll actually roll the cinnamon rolls out. I am back with my trusty bench scraper in hand. Seriously, I have three of them because one or two are always in the dishwasher. We use them for everything. Sometimes I even take them in my room where I do crafts. Okay, just to make it easier to work with, I divide the dough. I used to divide it in thirds, but I think I'm going to just do it in half. I can definitely tell that I've used more butter because the dough is greasier, but it shouldn't hurt it at all. I don't think it's going to be as sticky because of that, which means it will be easier. Yep, totally easier to work with. So the recipe calls for 58 grams. I put like 76 grams. That's up to you. You can do that if you want. It will be a little shrinky-dinky. Not too bad, though. Oh, yeah. So I may have to stop the video, walk away, let the gluten kind of relax a bit, but I do still roll it out some. So what do you think? Should I let the videographer go back to his TV show for a few minutes? <laughs> I think maybe, well... I think we're gonna be okay. Get it just a little bit thinner. Now, did I roll it in a rectangle? Not so much, because I am not good at that. I'm just gonna get that out of the way more. But it really doesn't matter too much if it's in a rectangle. If you, whoops, sorry for the noise. If you are good at that, go for it. I've made Hundreds of recipes of cinnamon rolls. I've never once, once been able to really roll a rectangle. All right, I am done with that. Spread some butter on here. Do I need to soften it more? Well, hopefully not. So, do we use tiny little bits of butter on cinnamon rolls? We do not. What's my favorite word? Slather. <laughs> we slather the butter on. We want these to be ooey and gooey cinnamon rolls, right? Lots of butter. Yes, I'm a little crazy by this time of day, and I haven't even... Uh oh, it's 2.30, and I haven't had my shot of my afternoon shot of espresso yet. So there's not too much crazy science here going on. Healthy amount of butter. And by the way, after I mixed up what I had shown you in the previous section of the video, I added more cinnamon. Because all I smelled was sugar before. Okay. Nice, healthy coat of cinnamon sugar. Let it fly, folks. It's a party. It's a party on the kitchen counter. And if uh, my hubby is lucky, I'll even clean it up. <laughs> All right. And now we rock and roll as in roll. You can roll away from you, you can roll toward you. I don't know, I think I do some, sometimes some the other way. I kind of pull just a little as I'm rolling. Just 
just a little bit. I'm leaking cinnamon sugar, that is okay. It happens. And then I go through this elaborate pinching, joining, making it one, pushing in the sides a little bit. You don't really have to do that. And when I get tired of messing around, because it really doesn't matter that much, I start cutting. And I cut with the bench scraper. Could you use a sharp knife? Why not? This works really well. It's not a sharp knife that could cut you, but it cuts the dough quite nicely. So I think I'm gonna do four fairly shallow cuts. One there. One there, one there, and one there. These will rise and puff up while they're baking. I'll bring it closer for the long arm with the video camera. <laughs> okay, so that's one ready to rise. And then I'm just going to continue filling my little pie plates. So the rest is repetition that you really do not need to watch. So we're just going to turn off the camera and I will keep working. And I'll show you how many of the my little mini pie plates it filled when I'm done. And then we'll go through the rising process. And we're back. All of them have been rolled out. We're going to show you what that looks like. But we still need to do the final rise, and I do it in my oven. So we're going to, in a minute, when my videographer finishes doing close-ups there, <laughs> we're gonna walk over to the oven. Here we go. And I'm gonna move the rack up to the middle rack. And I don't have a proof setting on my oven. Some of you may have newer ovens, so you may have a proof setting. But since I don't, what I do is I set my oven at the very lowest temperature it goes to, which is 170. Start, and I set the timer for one minute. Why set the timer, you say? Well, it's because any more than one minute will heat the oven too much. All we're trying to do is get the oven ever so slightly warm. Imagine yourself walking out onto a warm day that's about 85 degrees. That's the temperature your oven should be, about 85 degrees. You don't have to use a thermometer, you don't have to do that, as long as you set that timer for one minute because when that one minute timer goes off, the oven will be turned off. Do not leave your oven on for proofing. You will not have a good result. Okay, so we have 20 seconds yet. Should I do a song and dance? Da 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 da. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> silly, silly, silly. Anyway, we have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beep. Oven off, timer off. Okay, then I'm going to put all of the cinnamon rolls in there to rise. And again, it is just a little bit warm. Just a little bit warm. Like a warm summer day. You don't want it to be hot. Last two. Okay, I'm gonna close the oven door. Bye, babies. Set a timer for 40 minutes. Really rising time is about 45, you know, but I'll take them out. And by the time the oven has heated to 350 to bake them, they'll have fully risen. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Okay, so I will show you what they look like when they have risen. All right, as you can see, they definitely doubled in size 
And I have the oven preheating to 350. Um, I'm not sure how long these will take to bake. I think probably no more than 15 minutes, but you know how we tell. We use our handy dandy probe instant read thermometer and they should get to 200 degrees. I have to stick them in the dough part, you know, like I would stick it in right there, for example. So right now I'm going to mix up some egg wash to brush the tops and I'll show you what they look like when I'm done baking. Yummers. Oh my God, I can't wait to eat them. Are you ready to put your face into something yummy? Well, if I could, I would invite, invite all of you over to taste these or you could have smell-a-vision or even better taste-a-vision. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't offer that yet. Um, but they came out, as you can see, beautiful. They rose, they puffed, they bloomed, they blossomed, they're brown, and they reached about 200 degrees or so. So the only thing left to do is to make a glaze. Now, this is totally your choice. I know that a lot of people like a cream cheese frosting. I have a real hate for cream cheese, and I know you guys probably think that's weird, but I hate cream cheese because to me it's sour. I have weird, weird, weird taste buds. So anyway, I just make a glaze. I have, and I did not measure, do not measure this at all. All that's in this big glass measuring cup is powdered sugar, confectioner sugar. I put a little splash of vanilla extract. I gotta make sure it's vanilla because I also have maple. <laughs> little splash. No, I don't measure that. And I'm just going to put a little milk in. And it just kind of implodes, which is kind of fun to watch. But anyway, I'm gonna stir that in. I'm gonna need a little bit more. I tend to make it on the thin side, the glaze, but certain people have said, no, it needs to be thicker. Certain people, meaning the one who's holding my phone taking these videos. <laughs> so I'm trying to make it a little thicker, but this is not as easy to do. I need more milk but I am adding it gradually so that hopefully, and it's not meant to be a frosting. I'm not making a frosting that you spread. I hope I'm not making a frosting that you spread. I probably should have gotten a, let me get a spatula. That is not working for me. <laughs> All right, oh, so much better. Now I'm gonna ask the person who requested thicker, is this what you want? All right, he's saying yes. Just gonna finish it. Any milk more at all? You'll like it just like that? A little more milk? Okay, I'm allowed to put a little more milk in. See, I've always made it thin. So I can pour it really easily. Ah, using the muscles that I worked out this morning. Okay, so. Here goes. Again, personal choice. You could do a buttercream frosting if you wanted. You could do no frosting or no icing whatsoever. You could make it thinner like I did on my old cinnamon roll videos. All right, doing fine here. Much thicker than I'm used to doing it. So a certain someone better be happy. He's giving me the thumbs up. <laughs> All right, so almost done here. I think we'll turn off the camera while I'm done, while I'm finishing, because, you know, I hate for you to watch me do absolutely everything. So I'll come back in a few minutes.
Well, it'll be instantly for you. <laughs> well, here we go. The, oops, still, well, I guess I can touch them a little bit. The cinnamon rolls are completely done. I don't need to taste them to tell you they are delicious because I've made this recipe so many times before. They rose beautifully, everything worked out. I made the thicker icing that the husband approves of. He did these two, by the way, if you think they look any better. You can tell him so in the comments, I'll let him know. Speaking of um, comments, some of you have trouble finding the recipes. And YouTube is always changing things on me, so now I didn't see the word description, but there is always a description below the video. If you go to my channel where you are right now to find this recipe, look for the video that says, where are the recipes? And earlier today, I showed you videos of how to sh find it on an iPhone, an iPad, a, P a desktop computer using both Firefox browser and a Google Chrome browser. That's all I have in my house, so I can't tell you how to find it on an Android or a Macintosh computer, but I'm hoping you can figure it out. Um, so that, again, that, that, that um, video is called, Where Are the Recipes? And I'll put some tags on it, so if you search Ellen Bread Machine Recipes, you should be able to find that video. I'll put that tag in it, so if you search for that. It's called, Where Are the Recipes? And it actually has videos as to how you can find it. But under the screen that is the actual video, there's something below. If you're on an iPhone or iPad, you should find this little teeny, very tiny down arrow. When you click it, you'll see the recipe and you'll have to click where it says show more. You may not even have to click that arrow if you're on a browser on your computer. It'll have a little blurb. It'll have my channel name with the picture of me holding out the bread like this. And it'll say show more or more or see more or something if you click there. The recipes there. All of my videos have the recipes below the video in the description or what used to be called the description. If you can't find them, message me. I will remind you. If you are on Facebook, you are free to send me a message, not a friend request, but a message in Messenger. I don't mean that I don't want to be your friend. I like everybody, but I try to keep my friend list, my personal, you know, my personal people. But if you go to Facebook and go to Facebook Messenger and look for Ellen Walker Hoffman, if you send me a message there, I will answer you. Except when I'm sleeping or at a doctor's appointment, I mean, I'm on Facebook answering questions all day long. You will get a response fairly quickly, I promise you. So please like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you had a good time watching the new and improved cinnamon roll recipe. Now, obviously, if you want to make this in a rectangular pan, you can do that. I just want to do something. What's the word I use? Cute. Now it's time to eat them. Yum, yum, yum. Thanks for watching.